What's up and welcome to my relocation franchise on Madden 22. Of course, we are the Memphis Steamers. And uh, last time we lost to the Jaguars 51 to 37. It was a really close game. And uh, if I remember correctly, Jalen Garrett fumbled the game away at the end. That's not like the only reason we lost, of course, like a multitude of things would have added up to it. But I can remember him turning the ball over while we were attempting to take the lead back again. It was a rough one, but you know what? We suck. So it's not that surprising that we lost to the Jaguars today though we have to take on the Indianapolis Colts um, this one's probably going to be a lot more difficult because they have a better team a really good defense this might suck but let's get started with this one she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see now we can begin by going over the prospect spotlight. Who's this going to be for? A free safety, Taylor Edwards. All right, let's go ahead and check out a free safety. Out of NC State, here is Taylor Edwards. C zone coverage, decent to solid speed. Oh yeah, he does not look good. I don't really want to keep my eye out on him. <laughs> that does not look like a great prospect to me, unless he has some really good stats down there. I don't really know. But let's also check out the rest of the draft stories. Apparently, Oklahoma Gabe Kennedy out for the year all right oh well apparently we selected jerick gregory with the number one pick we did that's not his name anymore and then um sean tucker is out for combat okay so that's probably still for last year right so oklahoma gabe kennedy i wonder if he's actually still in this class or if this is all from last year let's see if we can find kennedy a left end yeah gabe kennedy is right here all right so he's actually in this draft not too bad potentially elite change of direction is pretty cool not a bad player. Not a bad player at all. Maybe he'll like skip the combine or something because of his injury. I don't know. But um, I guess we can just go into the weekly strategy. And who do I want to focus on with the Colts? Probably Jonathan Taylor. Of course, we could try to focus on Jacob Eason. He's going to play a lot. Um, I'm thinking Jonathan Taylor in some regard. Let's see. Let's defend the inside run. They have Quentin Nelson. They have Ryan Kelly. They have a really good interior O-line. Of course, they have Braden Smith as well. But Quentin Nelson, I'm far more worried about. And speaking of being worried about players, uh, DeForest Buckner is, like, too good at football. So a run inside, run outside, or blitz counter. I'll try to establish a running game as well. Let's do the same thing. Run inside. Why not? Very thankfully, once again, we have no practice injuries. That's always very nice. Uh, we can upgrade some players now because of the practice. Taylor Heineke, Phil Haynes, and Christian. Let's just auto-upgrade all those guys. All right. Um, let's take a look at the rest of the Colts roster here. Before I do that, hang on. Tom Brady looks like he has an absurd number of passing touchdowns right now. He has 20. And the other guys there have 8. What? Hold on a second. We have 12, which is pretty cool. Tom Brady has 20? Yo, he's leading by 5 right now. Okay, that's kind of wild. How many games has he played? 5. He's averaging 4 touchdowns each game. That is wild. Two picks as well. Okay, I just saw that for a second and uh, figured and definitely needed to point that out. That's ridiculous. Let's see if he can keep up that pace the whole year. Of course, Carson Wentz is the starting quarterback. I still like me some Carson Wentz. I'm an Eagles fan, of course. 74 overall. 29 years old. He's not really in a good position in the game right now. And getting rid of him right now, there's a $27 million saving and then nothing in terms of the penalty. They should probably just move on from him, but I don't know. I'm not managing the Colts. That was an old relocation franchise back in the day jonathan taylor is the running back 94 speed 88 trucking 95 carrying 93 ball carrier vision he's going off in real life right now he's very good still super young he's a great running back adam prentice is the starting fullback michael gallup is on this team that's a new receiver zach pascal and michael Pittman are the other receivers paris campbell of course adding a lot of speed as is Kawhi gilmore he has a ton of speed to this team michael gallup on this team adds a brand new target for carson wentz that's pretty cool at tight end they have gronk all right some new faces mo alley cox is also here left tackle tyrell crosby left guard quentin nelson we we're talking about him before he's insane very good 98 overall ryan kelly we also briefly mentioned 87 overall center duvernay tardif is starting at right guard and then right tackle Braden smith is of course a very good offensive line quitty pay is a rookie currently starting at left end, 81 overall for him. Derek Barnett is on this team, reuniting with Carson Wentz. DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart. Yeah, they have a good D-line. Darius Leonard, 93 overall. They just have a good defense, really. Bobby Okariki, starting at middle linebacker, Armadillo legend. Right outside linebacker, Melvin Ingram. Doesn't really fit the scheme here. Maybe he's starting, I don't know, Corey Littleton fits a little bit more. Cornerbacks, Kenny Moore, Rocky Sin, and Emmanuel Mosley. So a pretty good group of corners here. Julian Blackman, the free safety. 
Zachary Willis, the strong safety, Tyler Bass, the kicker, JK Scott, the punter. They have a good team. This is going to be a really tough game. Their defense is certainly very scary, but let's load into this one and uh, let's see if we can keep up, you know, the offensive pressure that we've had these last couple of games. Oh, I forgot to do something pretty important. Anderson wanted me to switch his position to outside linebacker and I forgot about that. Hopefully I remember to do it next time. But on first down, Carson Wentz, 13 yard completion. Oh, Jonathan Taylor's gonna get his first carry and go pretty much nowhere. That's kind of nice. Let me actually just change the depth chart around right now. I should be able to. And we can have Anderson be an outside linebacker. And I think we're gonna have Neiman play middle. He's tall, 89 speed. He's a good player too. Um, but Anderson is still going to be my main user. But he was saying, you know, he's kind of undersized a little bit here at the position. So maybe outside linebacker suits him a little bit better. Get somebody taller at middle. So we can try this out here. That's a screen pass. Going pretty much nowhere. Going to break out of a tackle. Doesn't do much after that. Naheem Hines, the receiving back on this team, of course. Neiman doing a good job covering both of these guys over here. But that is going to be a completion to Michael Pittman. The ball is just chucked up after Carson Wentz has three years in the pocket. And Pittman is going to come down with that. 31-yard gain. That is fantastic. He has a lot of people open there. I sent a blitz and it just never got back there. All right. Well, they're down to the seven. They're passing the ball pretty well. They really can't run the ball right now, which is nice. That's what we're trying to prevent. But uh, they're very lethal through the air at the moment. Michael Gallup with a 26-yard reception there. Nixon getting through. Carson Wentz is moving around. I think that's going to be a hold, though. Doesn't matter because it's an interception. Reese Lolly, let's go. Why did it just be there? That was a mistake by Carson Wentz. We can probably decline this then, right? Yeah, we decline that. And we get the ball. Sick. At the 20-yard line. That's amazing. That's a great catch. That was almost an interception. <laughs> Wolfhart, way to go. I uh, held on to that football a good bit too long, honestly. Now, third and three. Maybe we can find a road show right away. Or actually triangle. Wolfhart. Pass is thrown a little bit behind him, but he can adjust to it. I'm getting sacked. All right, that was pretty quick. <laughs> I think that was DeForest Buckner. All right, well, fourth and 13. Punting this one away. Oh, that was a missed tackle. <laughs> nice. Uh, a couple others, I think, as well. Jonathan Taylor, finally getting a good run. There's a first for him. Oh, let's go. We're going to get the stop on third and inches. This defense has been great against the run so far today. Oh, my God. Schwartz had so much space in front of him. And he just bricks it. That was great. <laughs> His drop issues have gone away for the last few games, but maybe they're back. I don't know. I hope not. Oh, X is so open. Please don't drop this. Brevin Jordan, let's go. I think this is going to be a touchdown. No way you get caught. Oh my god, he almost got caught. Okay, well, he didn't. So a 79-yard touchdown there for the tight end. Just no one covered that. I will take advantage of that every time I see it, which isn't very often. I'm just glad I saw it there. Let's go. A penalty on the kickoff. Going to pin him back at the 14. Another great run stop for this defense, dude. Come on. Jonathan Taylor has like a 12 or a 13 yard rush. And then I think he has his seven other carries for like five yards. <laughs> we're, we're holding him really well right now. Hopefully that keeps going. That's going to be a poor throw from Carson Wentz on the run. I'm glad that he actually threw that inaccurately. I feel like every quarterback always hits that against me. That was huge. Third and 11. Come on. It's a big time to get a stop. I'm going to say, that guy's about to be open. I did not read it well enough. That's Michael Pittman. He's still going, breaking off of like eight tackles. That's rough, man. I kind of read that, but I was worried to leave Gronk. In retrospect, I definitely should have just done it, but whatever. It's going to be a sack. It is going to be one. Let's get it. Zach Lane getting back there on poor Carson Wentz. Did he beat by Braden Smith, or is that like a tight end or something? Because that's pretty good if he beat by Braden Smith. Smith is a good tackle. Jonathan Taylor again going nowhere. We have a really good run defense when we're not playing against Derrick Henry, I feel like. <laughs> but third and 22, come on, just don't do anything dumb. Just not let up the first down. We'll be here with Anderson. That is going to be a completion, but not for the first down. Gronk going nowhere. 
Okay, that's out of reach. Unlucky. I've been trying to establish a run game, and Orocho is just going nowhere right now. No, Gronk is so open. Oh, my God. What a route by the old man. And that's a touchdown, I think. Unless Lolly can catch up to him. Or Dunn, not Lolly. Dunn will catch up to him at the two-yard line. That was a great route. Good yards after the catch. And Jonathan Taylor is in for the touchdown. All right, so tie game here. There's a great run there for Orocho. Really good blocking. And Mosley's going down. All right, like they're a third corner. Oh, that's a terrible decision. That deserves to be picked off. It's not going to be. There was a lot of people there. Carson Wentz is going down on third. Zach Lane. Second sack. Let's go, man. I think he's having a pretty good rookie year. Like, nothing crazy, but... He was a, a later round pick, I believe, and he's only in the 60s, I think. So he's producing pretty well, you know, for his overall and, and for when we selected him. Actually, I like Jordan quite a bit. He's going to make the catch. Oh, my God. What a grab by Jordan. Yeah, Brevin Jordan's going to be open. He's having a really good first half. 55 seconds on the clock. I don't think we have to hurry up. We have three timeouts. Kind of chilling right now. Anthony Schwartz can't make the catch. That was a tough one, though. He got hit by Okariki right when he tried. That sucks, but we're going to send out the field goal unit. You know, we've been really bad running the ball today, so uh, let's try to throw it short in the second half. And defensively, I'm good to defend the inside run still. We've been doing a really good job at it, so, you know, let's continue. But 10-7, to we have a lead, which is nice. Pretty low-scoring game quite the defensive affair but let's see if we can you know really get something going here on offense now DeForest Buckner just went down for them he got up like right away so I doubt it's like a long-term injury but it could be something to monitor Schwartz please make this catch uh, I think he has uh, three targets today and no catches maybe four targets that one's not necessarily his fault I think the defender broke that one up I just can't seem to find him right now for some reason no I pump faked by accident I don't think I've ever pump faked in this game, and I hit square twice by mistake. Uh, okay, that one, uh, like pretty much every other drive that we haven't scored on, is uh, my fault. Oh, let's go. There was like four different steamer defenders in the backfield there. Feel bad for Jonathan Taylor on that one. But third down and nine, come on. Don't let up anything big, please. We're really bad <laughs> at stopping teams on third and like seven plus. But we're going to get a stop. Robinson getting back there. The D tackle. Let's go, man. Carson Wentz seeming a little flustered in the in the pocket. What a throw. What a catch. Like, finally, we completed a pass. <laughs> we did something well on offense. Oh, it's getting jumped. Should have thrown that, I guess, a little bit earlier. Thought I had that. Usually, off coverage on a comeback like that. Works pretty well. Dude, I cannot find Anthony Schwartz today. I don't know what's going on. Jalen Garrett has been pretty bad, like, accuracy-wise. He's getting rattled. I don't know what to say. Come on, let's convert this, though, please. I want to keep this drive going. Oh, man, I didn't like anybody right away. That was absolutely a mistake. That should have been picked off. I didn't like anyone that I saw right there. The point's probably worth it right now. Oh, no way Carson Wentz broke off that sack attempt. Oh, what a play by him. That would have been a huge stop, too. Okay, and that is a touchdown for Jonathan Taylor somehow. Man, all right, well, it's still a one-possession game if we can get the two-point conversion, so it's not absolutely terrible for us. Oh, my God, Schwartz finally catches a pass. Jesus, it has been so long. Let's go. Josh Gordon with a nice catch. Garrett with a good throw there as well. Oh, Philip Lindsay, let's go. Beautifully blocked from the offensive line. Philip Lindsay, good burst. And a road show up the middle for a touchdown. Okay. That wasn't a bad drive from the offense. And we're definitely going for two here. That's not where you should have went. Zach Ertz, I thought you were going to run that correctly. 
That option route, you probably should have cut to the outside, not just turned around. Oh, that was blocked so well. Just everything got picked up right in time. Crosby's going down. He got injured before, too. But, you know, he's back for a while. Looks like an arm injury or something. I think that's what he was holding. But come on. Defense, please. Help me out here. Jonathan Taylor, don't get hot now. It's going to Gronk. He'll make the catch, but really go nowhere. We could really, really use this stop, please. We can do this. If it's a run play, maybe I can shoot the gap. It is a run play. Davion Taylor, let's go. Going to make this stop. That was massive. All right, we're not going to take a timeout. We don't need to. And are they lining up for the field goal? They are. I don't know if the wind is in their favor or not. Oh, they faked it. No way they just faked it. <laughs> it didn't work, which is massive. And now we just have to get into field goal range. Okay, we can do this. Now, oh, Philip Lindsay has a ton of yardage. Let's go. It was a huge run on first down. Oh, no. Wolfhart's getting injured. Oh, that sucks. Please, my man, don't be out for a while. We desperately need you on this team. All right, well, a road show and a screen pass. Can he get open? Oh, not really. Please break that. Oh, that would have been big. All right, well, what are we looking at here? Third and 14. Oh, that's not good. Bruise to sternum. Okay. I could really use Wolfhart right now. Definitely four down territory, so we don't need the first down all right here. Oh, I don't like anybody. I'm going to throw that one to Schwartz. Yeah, he picked up a bit. He got three yards. Yeah, fourth and 11. We do need to go for this. All right, well, here we go. Nico Collins, we might need you to make a really big play here. I'm going to throw it to him, but we are getting hit. It's definitely not over yet. Like, they're probably just going to run the ball a whole bunch. We do have three timeouts, so let's see if we can stop him. Let's blitz again. Please, please don't get a first. We really need this. And Jonathan Taylor got a first. That is the game. That one just straight up sucked. I don't really know what to say about it. <laughs> we just really weren't that good today. Specifically on offense. Jalen Garrett was horrible. He could not hit anybody consistently. We had one touchdown because it was on a 79-yard completion, and most of that came after the catch. Jalen Garrett was just really bad today. I was playing badly with him. It just was not a good time. We also could not run the ball. Orocho had three yards per carry. Just nothing was going. The offensive line was getting bullied every single time I tried to run the ball. I mean, Philip Lindsay had some success, but for the most part, just not a good rushing performance. Brevin Jordan led the team in catches and yards. The yards by a lot. And a touchdown. Of course, most of that came on that one at reception. One sack allowed. Sure, I guess. Uh, seven tackles for Davis. We have eight tackles there for Anderson. Four tackles for loss for Lane and for Xavion Robinson. We were so good against the run today, but couldn't do too much against the pass, and we could not move the ball on offense. Two sacks for Lane as well. He played really well in this one. Reese Lolly had an interception. That's always nice. It was a rough one. It was definitely a rough one, but against a good defense, it wasn't the absolute worst effort I could have given. At least we scored 19, could have scored zero. But you know what? At least Anthony Schwartz and Zach Lane got an experience point, okay? <laughs> Always got to be optimistic. But uh, let's advance by this one. Next time, we have to take on Derrick Henry again. Oh, no. I really don't want to do that. We have a free agent fit we can talk about. Those are usually never worth it. Derrick Henry has eight yards per carry right now. That's definitely inflated from when we played him, but still, that's that's wild. Are the development traits revealed yet? Still not revealed, but what are we looking like here? Oh, very soon. Probably next game then, right? Yeah, it's definitely looking like next game for a lot of these guys. I think pretty much all of them, aside from Zach Lane. All of them are going to have their devs revealed next time, which is sick. You know, that's something to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we, <laughs> we are still not a great team, but one day we'll get there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is, this is